In this video, we'll take a look at the initial things you need to consider before heading into the wild and committing to an off-grid lifestyle. Outcastland.com The first step to going off-grid is finding the right piece of land that suits your needs. Having land that makes self-sustainability easier is the ultimate goal. And for most people, that means finding land away from the city with mature trees, hunting possibilities, and possibly a water feature. Making a checklist of your most desired features will aid you in your search for the perfect spot to call your own. Item number two on our list is shelter. For most people, this means a permanent structure. Sometimes that's as simple as a small cabin, which can be done in a DIY manner, but for those who are wanting a more substantial home, you'll need to contact a contractor and go through the normal channels of building a home. For other people, utilizing a camper or RV is a great solution and best of all, has everything you need already built right into it. After a shelter, water is going to be your top priority. Drilling a well for fresh water is a must for most off-grid dwellers. And when living a simpler existence, constantly relying on deliveries or working to provide clean water is not a struggle that most people want to deal with, and for good reason. So unless you know all the ins and outs of well drilling, opting for a professionally drilled well for both reliability and safety is going to be your best bet. Drilling a well typically will cost between $30 and $60 a foot, with a usual cost somewhere between $5,000 and $7,000, depending on where you live and the depth you choose to drill to. So when it comes to toilets, washing clothes, gardening, collecting rainwater is also a great option that will give you a great backup water source as well as reduce some of the workload off of your well. And if need be, you can filter that water for drinking and cooking. Off-grid living requires you to provide your own source of power for ultimate independence, and in many cases that means solar power. Solar systems are growing in popularity every day, which means there's a ton of information for DIY solar systems on the internet, as well as complete DIY kits available to purchase. The great thing about solar is you can build it as big or as little as you require, with some quality kits costing less than $1,000. To professionally install whole house systems though, that might cost you around $40,000. But for most people, going off-grid is about affordability as well as sustainability, and finding alternative tools to reduce your energy needs will assist in saving money in the long run, but not requiring such a large investment into power. Having a secondary source of power to back up your primary energy system is also a good idea and can come in several different forms. Wind turbines and hydropower turbines can be a great source of power if the land you own has the resources to accommodate it, but often can be costly to install, so you'd have to check on those investments in your area. Gas or propane powered generators can be a great addition, and they can come at a lot smaller cost and can really back you up in times of need, especially if anything breaks down or if there's some bad weather coming your way. Number five on our list is sewage. For most people, this means a septic system, unless you're living out of a camper or RV that can be taken to a dump site. Much like drilling for a well, this is often a project best suited for a professional if you don't already have a good understanding of septic systems. Having a septic tank professionally installed generally costs around $5,000, and you'll need to keep in mind that it will be uh, needed to be emptied from time to time. Another and more affordable option is a composting toilet. The big plus is that it requires no water, the waste will decompose, and it can be reused in other ways around your homestead. The negative is that it requires a lot more work and handling of waste, but many people find this a more environmentally conscious way of doing their business. Last, but certainly not least of our items, is food. Increasing your food self-sufficiency is a must for off-grid living. Hunting and fishing is a no-brainer for most, and having the ability to clean, prepare, and preserve wild game is a great way to ensure that you can live off the land comfortably. But to provide a complete source of nutrition when going off-grid, 
you need to bust out that green thumb and grow a garden. You need somewhere around 4,000 square feet of growing space to grow enough food to feed just one person for a year, and be sure to choose plants suited for your area's climate to maximize how much you can grow. Canning what you grow in, a, in your garden is also a must and the perfect way to preserve food without the need for more electricity and refrigeration. We hope you enjoyed this quick overview of Going Off Grid. Be sure to check out our available listings at instantacres.com and our partner company at outcastland.com. We sell land in the Midwest, right in the heart of the Ozarks of Southern Missouri and Arkansas, which has some of the best opportunities for homesteading and recreational land in the entire United States.